Hello again, and time for another scenery update on the colliery layout. Um, since last time, it has most of the work has mainly been um, done on scenery. Um, seems feels like I'm getting somewhere now. Uh, with the finishing touches to some of the areas you saw last time, um, so it's all of the basically all of the entrance to and around the colliery. Um, what you are looking at now is the tunnel exit. I'm sorry, entrance into the colony. Um, that's a single, single opening. Um, so as you can see, uh, that last time was the plaster cloth rock which had formed. Um, double entrance tunnel on the other side, and then this single exit entrance tunnel here. Um, so I've painted all the plaster cloth when it was dry, and started off by painting it with a rock effect based on the three basic brown colours I'd used on the plaster moulds um, and after that I painted the rest of it green base coat um, and then applied some of the Javis scatter and so I think it was the rough pasture and the heather mix um, and then we had a first go with the static grass machine um, which was interesting and um, see if the camera can pick it up but it, it's, it's not come out too bad it looks quite decent. Um, I've done some of the top. That area over there still needs doing because I'm not quite sure what's going to be going there yet. Um, but but yeah, quite quite pleased with it up to now. Um, and then I stuck some of the <coughs> a woodland scenic bush material over the top. Looks quite good. And painted the tunnels up using the Tamiya paints, I think it was buff, uh, and then a wash of the flat earth and then some black for the steam effect. Quite happy with that at the moment. Uh, just quickly show you the double tunnel opening, pretty pretty much the same, but again it's, it's come out quite well. So that's the main double tunnel. It's gone for a similar effect as well with the weathering. Not didn't want it too overpowering, just quite subtle. And so quickly show you finished. Let's see if we can zoom out. And um, finished rock face, uh, we, which made the cutting going over to the mine. Past where the signal box is going to be, and then into the mine sidings. Um, down here, same again. Painted the plaster cloth rock face with rock like colours. I've just finished this one tonight actually. Um, and then that's the other tunnel opening there. And going down the hill into the, into the corner of the layout. Uh, grass has come out a little bit better maybe over here. Um, I'm trying to think if it was a different mix. I think this was 6mm and 2mm. I think the other was six and six of different colours. Um, so it might just be a, a different lens, which look quite good. Either way, I'm on quite happy with it for the first effort. Um, that up there is going to be a farm now, um, so that's why I've not grasped the area too much. Um, and then, as I said last time, I wanted the effects to be like the mine had been cut into the hillside. Um, so. I was happy with what I'd done up to now, but I felt like it was too open on the um, outer side of the layout. Um, so last night I had a think, and the night before it was had a think, and then I built another hill here um, with plaster cloth and plaster. Um, it's still drying, and we put the second coat on tonight. Um, but as you can see, it kind of encloses the mine area a bit more makes it feel like it's actually built into the hills. Um, so we'll see how that goes when it's painted up and, and decorated a little bit. Also had another idea um, for along the back wall there when the covering panel goes on. Um, I've got some of the Metcalf house kits. Um, got them last week <laughs> and then um, built most of them over the weekend. <laughs> um, but quite good, I've never used one of the cardboard kits before. Um, it was impressed so go together quite well and they look quite neat and tidy when they're finished um, 
yeah, should, should, should look quite good. Um, I've got five, three, four lots of the um, stone faced terraces, um, which are those ones, and then one row of the shops. Um, so yeah, this should, should look quite good in a little village scene over there. Um, and then the scenery was just getting on top of me last week with so much of it to do, so I had a little break um, and finished some of the, um, the Dapol 16 ton mineral wagons. Um, got, well, I've got 10 of them, um, completely finished four now, and weathered them up a little bit. Um, quite good. Wouldn't mind some kind of graffiti on them, uh, graffiti writing or I've got a pen and actually do some real graffiti on the side. Um, oh yeah, look quite good, they should look good with the um, class, class 25 pulling them around the track as well. Um, and then I also finished a, a little, um, I think it's a ratio, okay, ground level signal box. It just, just needs weathering up with it, but that's going to go over to control the point rodding in the mine area. So it's going to go there, oh, to that effect anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Yes, overall not a lot of uh, running trains recently, um, but scenery seems to be getting there. Hopefully this side of the board finished this week maybe, paint this over hill and put some more cork down and paint the cork yeah and then introduce the buildings so hmm interesting all right well thanks for watching anyway just just a quick update tonight just to show you the um tunnels and the scenery now it's all going yeah any questions just ask thanks for watching